everybody, Christy here again, day three of Vlogmas. Um, today's been going well. I do a newsletter for my best friend's business called Sweet Midnight. Um, she's amazing. I absolutely love my best friend. And it was real difficult, though, to do the newsletter today because I'm having brain fog really, really bad. That's just something that comes along with lupus and RA. Um... It's very difficult to string thoughts together and sound coherent and all that. Um, but the newsletter's done and is out, so I'm very, very happy. Um, today, I wrote down a few things that I wanted to go over um, so I would remember what I wanted to talk about. Um, one of the first things is I have two girls. One's in fifth grade and one's in eighth grade. And... Even though it's very hard on me, I get up every single day, I do my hair, and I do my makeup, and change clothes, even though I'm pretty much in pajamas all the time, because if I just stay in bed, I'm going to be comfortable. But I have some cool pajamas. But anyway, um, I want to feel normal. I want them to see me normal. I don't want to look sick. Um... I just, I don't want them to talk one day down the road when I'm gone and say, yeah, you know, mom never looked good. She always looked sickly and stuff like that. That just would crush me. Um, I want them to be able to say, yeah, she felt like crap and was very, very sick, but she always tried to look presentable because that was important to her. I want my kids to see me being positive. I don't want them to hear me crying and moaning and groaning all the time. Um, just because my life is not normal. I can't go to their events. Um, there's certain things I can't do with them. As soon as they get home from school, they have to change their clothes, wash their hands, you know, and basically decamp decontaminate themselves so that I don't end up getting sick. Um, it sucks. I know it's got to suck for them, but it's just the way it is. Um, I do what I can to seem as normal as possible to them because I don't want it to affect them, you know, in any more of a negative way than it already does. Saying that, though, I do not hide what's going on from them all the time. I think it's important for them to see this is real. I am sick. I do hurt and, you know, all that good stuff. I don't sugarcoat things for them at all. Um, my husband and I think it's very important to be extremely honest with our girls about a year ago when they realized that I wasn't getting better. We dealt with all the questions of, are you going to die and this and that, and we had to go through all that. Yeah, that was pretty rough. It's very hard to hear the fear of your kids and them asking, are you going to be here when I graduate from high school and stuff like that. Um, my girls have to deal with things that most kids should never have to deal with. And that stinks. If I would have known that I would get this sick prior to having kids, I'm not sure I would have had them. I knew I was a carrier of RA and lupus, but I was totally asymptomatic. Um, that was one of the only reasons that I chose to have kids. Um, I didn't want the fear of passing it on to them or not being able to take care of them. And that just, you know, at, anyway, I don't know where I was going with that. But anyway, I don't know that I would have had kids if I knew I was going to end up like I am now. On the other hand, if given a choice and shown the girls that I do have now, I may have taken that risk just to know my kids because they're some pretty neat girls. Um, my kids are pretty awesome. In saying that, I have an awesome support system. Um, my husband takes very good care of me and my mother lives with us so she can help take care of me and she pretty much keeps my girls' life as normal as possible. She volunteers at their school, she takes them to all their events and she's just amazing. Um, without my mom, I don't know 
that I could function as well as I do because I'd be a lot more stressed and a lot more sick. Uh, my mom is my angel, simply put. But I am very lucky that I do have the support system that I do because there are people that have quote-unquote invisible illnesses that don't have that and that are discriminated against every day. I get discriminated the few times that I do go out. People don't understand why I have a handicap sticker on my car. I can't drive anymore. My mom has to drive me. Um, you know, we just get weird looks until I get out of the car and they realize the difficulty I have with walking or when I get out and have to be in a wheelchair. But people can be pretty cruel. I get a lot of people staring at me because they don't understand. Um, the walker that I use, I have blinged out and it says sick chick. And then there's another patch on there that says don't stare at me. Um, people just... I know there's a lot of curiosity, but I wish somebody just would come up and ask me instead of sitting there and staring. Um, yeah, sometimes they're staring at me because I do my hair some pretty kooky colors, but that's just me. Anyway, today I logged on the computer and saw that one of my art teachers, Tamara Laporte, she runs the site willowing.org. I'll put all the information down in the description box. She has rheumatoid arthritis as well, and she has been such an inspiration to me to see the art that she still puts out and everything that she does. I mean, I know I can get through life and still be productive and still produce beautiful things with my hands partially because of her, because of the, her teaching style and everything. She's just absolutely amazing. And she wrote, because her hands unfortunately are disfigured because of rheumatoid arthritis, she wrote a brilliant blog about what happens to people with RA, what she deals with, kind of touched on the medication she has to take, um, and why she's choosing not to have surgery to straighten out her fingers, all sorts of stuff. And it was beautiful the way that she did it. I saw it and I thought I was going to cry through the whole thing. And Tam being Tam, I was smiling through the whole thing. No tears needed. Um, she is just an amazing person and I absolutely love her. Um, again, I will link everything down below and the blog included. And hopefully you read it because... She's to the point to where they have her in remission, so no further damage is taking place right now. And God, I hope that happens to me. Unfortunately, I have lupus as well, so I don't know if both diseases turn off at the same time or, or what, but the RA with me is pretty much out of control right now. Um, the deformities are starting. I've known since I was 18 that I've had RA, so it's always been in the back of my mind that my hands might become deformed and my feet might become deformed, but it was never a reality until now. And I'm just going to go with the flow. Thankfully, I have watched Tam and learned from her and I've seen everything she can do, even with her hands the way they are. I think her hands are beautiful. They make some of the most beautiful art I have ever seen. And I hope I can do the same thing. Anyway, I hope you guys are having a great day. I am going to get this vlog up. I have started tinkering with some of the um, things on YouTube to try and figure out how to make my videos better and to do other things. I'm going to try to start getting videos up that show some of the art I do. Um, I'm a planner girl. I absolutely love decorating my planner. I also love Traveler's Notebooks or Midori's and I journal in those. I also do the Lister's Got a List Challenge. Um, I want to document as much as I can and as many of my memories as I can so hopefully, if I do end up dying at a young age, which I'm not planning on doing, I've got everything written down so my girls have that. And they can see what I thought and see pictures of everything and, and understand where I was at in my mindset.
but anyway, um, hopefully I learn how to get that up so you guys can see the fun part of my life and not just, um, sitting here in my bed. Because even though I sit here in my bed, I have an absolutely wonderful time with what I have. I have decorated my room with things that I love. I don't believe Halloween is a holiday. I think it's a way of life. And... I've got all sorts of neat decorations in my room. I absolutely love cute and creepy things. They make me happy. Um, I watch hockey all night during hockey season because hockey makes me happy. Um, it's just Japan makes me happy.